We're talking back to school and as it gets closer and closer, some kids experience like school stress, anxiety. So we're talking with Chloe Rothstein, a nurse practitioner with Cone Health Piedmont Pediatrics. All right, so let's talk about that stress and how we as parents or caregivers that we can start like talking to them now about it. Absolutely. So I mentioned routine earlier. Routine is also important to get ready for the, the first day of school and all the subsequent days. So having clothes laid out, um, lunch packed, if you're sending your child with a lunch box, um, kind of all the things that are necessary for the first day or for the morning of to make sure that everything is ready and prepared. Also starting to talk about and invite conversation about the fun things that kids are looking forward to with school, seeing new friends that they haven't seen since last year, maybe trying out the new swing set at the school, those kind of things. The fun stuff too, for sure. All right. The so fun stuff, exactly. What kind of sign should parents look for that my kid is more stressed, more anxious about back to school than I thought they were? Um, that's a great question. One thing for sure is if kids seem to be withdrawn from activity or they're not as excited or interested in things that they usually are super excited about, their hobbies, sports, that kind of thing. Um, if they seem to shy away from the conversation when you bring it up, starting school back, that's a great way to um, notice some stress or anxiety. And then also frequent complaints of tummy aches the morning before school or after school, like during the bedtime routine when they're thinking about what's going to happen the next day. Okay, so with that in mind, so maybe there are some of those stressors there. We're starting to see that. What are some do's and don'ts? Because how we think maybe we should handle it, maybe how we should really handle it are two different things. Mm -hmm. So don't brush it under the rug. Reassure your child that stress before school is very normal. There are several children's books about first aid jitters and going to kindergarten. So if you haven't had one of those yet, maybe pick one of those up from your local library or bookstore. Um, make sure you reassure your child that they are not alone, that perhaps you remember going to kindergarten your first day of school or you know first day of high school being a little anxious or nervous. Um, just reassure your child that they are not alone and that most kids feel these little first day jitters regardless of age. Okay, we talked about how we need to establish a sleep routine and how routine is super important. So what happens mm -hmm. if we are the parent of one of those kids who has difficulty with change, right? And this is a whole new beginning and a whole new routine, a whole new teacher thing. Mm -hmm. So think about what is gonna stay consistent through the child's day. They're still gonna have recess. They're still gonna see their older sibling at lunchtime or their favorite chocolate milk will still be on their lunch tray, things like that. that can kind of give the sense of consistency, even though new teachers will change. Um, perhaps also talking about friends of family members that you know have had teachers in the past that they'll have this year, or you know if you've heard great things about Miss Smith and Miss Smith is your child's teacher next year. Talk about the good attributes you've heard about your child's teachers and how much they love their school last year. All right, so a lot of it too is how we're helping them facilitate. What happens if we're stressed? <laughs> Great and question. <laughs> <laughs> um, hide it as best as you can. Fake it until you make it. Children are really receptive of parents' stress levels. So um, a routine for yourself is also really important. Going to bed early with your child, waking up on time to get them up on time is a big one. So um, allow this little gradual sleep schedule to also reflect your sleep schedule and also start to get in the swing of things for school. I know we talked about the vaccines, like the vaccines that you have to have before you go to school kind of thing that are required. A flu vaccine is not required, but this is a germy right. time of year. <laughs> this is a very germy time of year. Um, we do recommend the flu shot just because lots of germs are flying around. We've still seen flu strains from last year come through the summer. So flu is definitely out and about. We recommend getting your child flu vaccine as soon as your clinic or primary care office starts to have them available. Most offices should have them by the end of August or early September. Okay, and this is always the parents nag, right? Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, but the kids are not <laughs> going to be, you know, around us as we're saying that. So is it something that we need to like, you know, hypnotize them and hit, let them hear our voices about that? Hand washing is really important. Um, our hands touch all kinds of things through the day, shared blocks, shared markers, mouses on computers. So reminding your child that their hands are a central place for germs to spread is great. Uh, maybe taking a hand sanitizer in with their lunch box is great to help at least give them some sanitation to their hands. But if you can continue to reinforce that hand washing is important at lunch, when they get home from school, before they eat dinner, after they come inside from playing outside those kind of times. Okay, any final thoughts as we're getting this whole back to school thing going? 
Yeah, just three things to highlight. Number one, we've talked about it already, but reinforcing that sleep schedule. It doesn't have to be all at once. Gradual is the best. Limiting screen times, 30 minutes before bedtime to help the body wind down and get ready for bed. And then good hand hygiene, wash your hands, get your flu shot, and make sure your child is up to date on their immunizations. Gotcha. All right. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thanks for your time and expertise. If you missed any of this, this is going to be in the To Your Well-Being section. Right now, we're going to take a quick break and take a look at the forecast.